What is up, to Express Crew? Today I'm going to be showing you how to, to get started with a spreadsheet. This is the ultimate beginner's guide to the Google Sheets. So you cover everything from the basics to creating your first functional spreadsheet. So you might be wondering what exactly is a Google Sheet. If you are familiarized with the Microsoft Excel, well, basically Google Sheet is a powerful and free web-based spreadsheet program. It is part of the Google Workspace suite and allows you to organize and store your data to perform calculations and analyze information, to create some charts, to create graphs and data visualization and collaborate with others in real time. So to get started, let's take a quick tour of the Google Sheets interface. Here we have the menu bar. It contains various commands and options. Here is the file, the edit, the view, and all of it. Down here we have the toolbar. This provides quick access to the commonly used functions, such as the font, the size, the bold, the italic, uh, alignment, number, formatting, and so much more. Then we have the formula bar. The formula bar here is where you enter or edit data and formulas within a selected cell. And down here we have all of this bunch of cells. These are individual boxes where you enter some data. You identify it by their column, the letter, and the row number. And lastly, here are the columns. So you can see they have vertical sets of cells that can help us to label with numbers. And of course, you have the sheets. You can have multiple sheets with a single spreadsheet file that appears down here. And well, now to get started, let's um, enter and edit a few data. So here, what you can do is to enter your data straightforward. Click on one cell and just select it. Let's say, for example, B2. Then type your data, such as uh, number, text, or a date. Now press enter to move the cell below or tap to move the cell to the right, like this. And I can just select my cell and move my cell here to the right, to the left, down, and upper. To edit some data, we can double click on the cell you want to edit. Make your changes in the cell or into the formula bar. Then hit into enter to save it. Each time you create or do something into the upper side, you can see that the spreadsheet automatically saves my actual uh, document. Everything that I did is going to be saved automatically. Now let's make our data look presentable with basic formatting. So we can change the type phased into the font section. We can change the size, we can change the enlightenment and the number of formatting. In this case, I'm going to select this row. And I'm going to make this the format as currency. Then I'm going to change the alignment into center and I will bold this. If I want to, you can fill with an actual color of a cell, like it's cell. Then let's start with some basic formulas. So formulas are the heart of the spreadsheet. Let's learn a few basic ones. First of all, what I'm going to be doing here is to select this row. Then once I finish with these values, let's say for example that I wanted to get a sum. Sum adds up numbers in a range of cells. So in this case, I'm going to select the cell and in the fx, just type equal to sum. And then automatically you have, for example, just a, uh, a suggestion to sum from B2 to B6. When you hit into enter, automatically it's going to be making you a quick sum of all of these values. Then we have the average. The average calculates the average of the numbers in your range of sale. For example, here, I'm going to once again, select this element equal to and just type average. You can see that we have the average and the suggestion here. Just select it and automatically here's my average. I'm going to select both of them since these are equals. I'm going to bold them so I can highlight them. And let's try to change the highlight color. Lastly, we have the count. To count the numbers of cells in the range that contains the number. Let's do this here. Into fx equal to count. Now into count is going to be asking you to enter our value. We can just inside the fx select the rows we want to get inside our formula and hit into enter and automatically it's going to be creating the value on the estimate of what we're looking for. Now, let's create some basic charts. We can select the data you want to include in your charts, including the headers. Just click into the insert into the upper side. Into the menu bar, 
just look out for the option that says chart. Now Google Sheets will suggest a chart type. You can change it into the chart editor sidebar. So we can customize your chart with the title, labels, colors in the chart editor. So in this case, I'm going to try to move my chart just below my value and make this a little bit smaller. Now that I have my chart created into the right section, I have my chart type. I'm going to change this for this specific pie chart. Then into the customization, here I have the chart style. I'm going to try to leave it white. The chart board color should be like this. We can make this 3D. And here's my pie chart slice. We can change the color. We can change the distance from the center, axis, titles, and legends. In this case, I think I'm going to just leave it as it is. And lastly, we can share and collaborate. So hit into the option that says share. When you click in here, we can enter the email address of the people you wanted to share with. So choose their permission level. So first of all, of course, we need to name before the sharing. In this case, let's say for example, this is the value example and hit into save. Automatically, we can now have the email so we can input it for people who want you to share with. So we can, of course, change it from viewer or each time every has, or we can just copy a link. Anyone who has access to this link, they have now anyone with a link can become a viewer, a commenter, or an editor. In my case, I'm going to just leave this as a viewer and hit now into done. And congratulations, you have now loaded the basics of the Google Sheets. So we can start experimenting and exploring its many features. Spreadsheets are powerful tools for organizing and understanding some data. So if you find this got helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to address what other Google Sheets tutorials you would like to see. You can let us know in the comments below. Thank you once again for watching this video and hopefully we can all see you next time.